friends, Chris Chris here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm really excited to review my uh, Skyweight Survival Chest Pack from 511 Tactical. And the Skyweight series is a brand new offering from 511, uh, and it's, it's May 2023. And what the series offers is a less overtly tactical line of gear and apparel from 511 that still includes some of the tactical features that you've come to know and love 511 for. Uh, so I wanted to show you what it looks like on me, and then we'll take a look at it in a little bit more detail. I'm also testing out a new mic, so please let me know down in the comments below what you think of the audio. Let's take a look at this in more detail. All right, so taking a more detailed look at the Survival Chest Pack from the Skyweight series. Now, this has a lot of details uh, that I want to get into, so bear with me. I know this might be a little longer than some of my other gear reviews, but like those other reviews, I'll talk about the pack overall and then dive into more detail uh, you know, starting from front to back. Now, uh, this is made out of 330D or 330 Delta nylon ripstop. So it has, it's a nice stretchy but durable material. Um, and in addition to the survival uh, chest pack, there's a utility chest pack version that's a lot thinner. It has molly on the front, molly webbing. And it's really just this back pouch uh, with molly webbing in the front. And so we'll go over that pouch and some of its unique features. Uh, this back, uh, like back pad here is very nice. Um, it's smaller than my Muserize one, uh, which has its ups and downs, uh, but it has this nice breathable mesh on the back, and overall it's, it's very comfortable. The uh, clips here on the side are nice because they're so thin compared to some of the, the wider clips, so you don't have a lot of, you know, bulky plastic rubbing up against you uh, and more of this comfortable strap. So that's a really nice feature and attention to detail uh, that uh, I think you know, most people may, may overlook, but uh, that's a really nice creature comfort. Now, uh, getting into some more detail on the outside here, you have several straps. The bottom here you'll see advertised as uh, specifically for a tourniquet. Uh, so that I think that's great, or an individual first aid kit, an IFAC, uh, but it really can be used for any sort of modularity that you can fit down there. Uh, it has some, you know, front-facing clips uh, or, or loops, and then some upper-facing loops as well. Uh, again, you can utilize this to, to attach this pack to something else um, or, you know, things to this pack. So that's, that's some really nice modularity as well. Now, I really like this front pocket. It's where I put my phone uh, you know, when I'm on the trail, I can quickly access it to you know, take pictures of wildlife or scenery. If I'm listening to a podcast, I can get to the next episode or pause. So I really like that. I don't have to, you know, unzip anything to get into this pocket uh, and it fits it perfectly. So really like that. That's one of the things that sold me about the survival version versus the utility version that doesn't have this pack. Now I have this pack set up right now for just like a quick day hike. <sighs> Um, so this front zip pocket, I keep some business cards in there, uh, but that's, that's really nice as well. Uh, again, just more storage. Now, because this is made of that 330D uh, nylon ripstop, it does have some stretch and you can really fit a lot in here. Now, this main pouch here is fantastic. Uh, first of all, you have two zippers um, on these two main pouches, which is really nice so you can unzip it either way. When they do unzip, uh, it comes open very nicely. Now with the zippers, I do want to say they're nice and quiet, unlike my Muserize, because the pull tab uh, isn't metal. It's that, uh, that string material. So that's really nice as well. Uh, now again, I have this set up for just a quick little day hike. And first of all, uh, this, is, this is facing the other way. So here, let me, let me open it up how you would see it when you're uh, wearing it. This comes out and is stopped, so it, it can't fall open and all your stuff fall out, which is really nice. So they have these stops, um, and it opens it to a, a degree that is very usable. So first of all, you have sort of two main compartments separated by this divider, uh, and so those create pockets in themselves. And I use this back one for field notes. Um, and then you have these two large uh, you know, pockets in the back. The divider itself has a lot of bungee on either side. You have large on the back, smaller on the front, and the divider itself uh, is made out of pockets. Again, as you can see, so many ways to configure this, redesign it, make it yours. 
Um, what I like is that you can put something uh, and have a dedicated spot for that. So like my lighter will always be there. My flashlight will always be here. And so, you know, if you're in the dark, in the rain, you just know where that item is going to be. You know, I have some uh, earbuds right there and it fits perfectly. Uh, I love the, the, diverse, the diversity of sizes of pouches and straps. Um, very, very nice. You can do a lot with that. So uh, the back here has some, the back pouch has some really, really unique features. Um, and it's designed for concealed carry. You know, it's 5.11 tactical. And again, like I said earlier, it's not uh, overtly tactical, but it does have some concealed carry features, which uh, it shares with the utility chest pack version as well. Now, if I open this up, again, this comes open very nicely, nice and wide. And one of the ways that it's designed for concealed carry, and again, you don't have to use it for that. I know a lot of my audience doesn't, and you know, you're know that's totally fine. Um, but this is nice and it's, uh, you know, it's hook and loop, so you can attach things to there. These are, uh, you know, designed for magazines. They're the size, um, you know, is designed for like a regular Glock or uh, Smith Wesson pistol magazine. Um, when you, you know, you can put your firearm in there. And what's really nice about this uh, pack is that you have these tabs. You know, it's ambidextrous, so right or left-handed. Um, I would probably do the right side because I'm right-handed, but you know, this pull tab here, you're able to uh, quickly apply pressure and it opens up the pack without you having to grab two ways and pull separately. Um, you know, and, and when your adrenaline's going, you're gonna have a lot easier time than I did uh, just ripping that open with what these are called. These are called hot tabs. Uh, so that's what uh, is nice about this. Again, you don't have to use it for concealed carry, but that is a really nice feature uh, if that's what you're looking for. And again, um, you know, if you need quick access to that backpack for uh, back pouch uh, for anything, those hot tabs will uh, come in handy. Now, taking a look at the back, you do have more of this uh, really nice mesh material. It's very breathable. Uh, it's padded nicely, and it's it's not padded uniform, which means that you have these air pockets that uh, you know encourage airflow and that's just it's really nice it's very comfortable can't complain at all about the comfort of this uh you know this back panel that's that's really nice so uh what's also nice is that this back panel um is designed to be uh you know modular in the fact that you can add this pack to a load bearing belt this is wide enough for you know 511 specific designed load bearing belt um, here it's kept together by some Velcro in the back, but you can run a, uh, again, a load bearing belt through there, like a battle belt or any other kind of load bearing belt or just a regular belt as well. Uh, and so then this can become a fanny pack up front. It can become a, you know, a butt pack in the back and, uh, be a great addition, uh, to any sort of kit that you have. So again, it's subtle, you know, that's, that's not very overt, but, uh, very good, uh, you know, feature. I really like that as well. So I can't wait to, to utilize that feature. Um, thanks for stopping by the channel. I would highly recommend this product. Uh, it has been fantastic. I've, I've hiked, you know, uh, quite a few miles already just wearing this and, um, I'll make a dedicated video comparing it to my Muserize one, the one that I previously used. Um, and yeah, thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, hope you have fun out there. Semper Paratus, I'd be honored with your subscription, and Coast to Chris out.